सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल द मैन हु यूनिफाइड इंडिया फ्रॉम द बुक बाय बलराज किशन हैदराबाद ऑपरेशन पार्ट टू पटेल ऑल्सो इन्फॉर्म माउंट बेटन आई हैव ऑथेंटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन द रिसेंट एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द मुसलमान आर डिजाइन ऑलमोस्ट टू क्रिएट ए फीलिंग ऑफ टेरर अमंग द नॉन मुस्लिम सो इट्स एजिटेशन इन फेवर ऑफ द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ हैदराबाद विद पॉसिबल अलायंस विद पाकिस्तान should flourish this is what hyderabad wants what role was monkton play he himself disclosed that in his note of 15 september to nizam's executive council my object has been to advise a court calculated to obtain hyderabad the maximum degree of real practical in the independence compatible with its prosperity and security that hyderabad is landlocked in the belly of hindustan that pakistan is not yet in a sufficiently established position to be able to give effective help that if hyderabad is to remain independent she must stand on her own feet the guiding principle has been to avoid executing an instrument of accession according to monkton an agreement of association as opposed to accession meant a treaty or agreement short of accession preserves independence in law involves merger or organic union that when circumstances change that is if pakistan and hyderabad grew strong enough to warrant it the treaty can be denounced once a state has acceded to the dominion dominion it will find it hard to extricate itself monkton further had explained to nizam i wanted to negotiate to continue to negotiate for hyderabad as long as possible after 15th of august the longer they continued the better for us we have a breathing space to get ready for the economic and political conflict if it comes i know that patel was and is against my extension of time to hyderabad and that governor general prevailed upon the cabinet of dominion to allow him personally two months time to see whether he and i who had known each other intimately for many years publicly and privately could find a compromise satisfactory to both sides encouraged by monkton's note the nizam wrote to mount betel on 18 september that short of accession hyderabad was ready and willing to make a treaty of association with india simultaneously with this approach to us writes vp menon the nizam got in contact with jina with a view to securing the services of his executive council zafarullah could not be spared as he was to lead the pakistan delegation to the uno following this and uncertainty hung over hyderabad with the result that the delegation after delegation with leaders and members changing now and then began visiting new delhi new delhi 
for negotiations with Mountbatten. These are almost endless number of agreements in sight. About mid-October, Patel got completely fed up and want, wanted to break off the negotiations. This upset Mount Betty, who pleaded it would be a great pity if the negotiations were to break down. He ignored what the Nizam wrote towards the end of October, that if the negotiations with the government of India were to break down, he would immediately negotiate and conclude an agreement with Pakistan. Patel was much annoyed. He told Menon, the only decent course for us is to send back the new delegation by the very same plane by which they arrived. Meanwhile, the situation within Hyderabad worsened. There were serious communal riots in Sikandrabad on 25th August. The police were entirely manned by Muslims. A member of the Nizam's executive council, Ayangar, wrote that Muslim police were unwilling to protect the life and property of a Hindu. And armed Pathans, Rohilas and Arabs were allowed to roam about without death or without hindrance terrorizing the people. This caused exodus of Hindus. According to Ayangar, the local Muslim League, which has been well organized and supplied with arms, is only waiting for an opportunity to attack Hindus en masse if Hyderabad joins the Union. There will be mass slaughter on a large scale. Again, he reported on 25th October, one Lancaster landed at Begumpet Airport direct from Pakistan. It is suspected that it contains arms and ammunition. Earlier on 19 September, Patel had told Mountbatten the Nizam has mortgaged his future to his own Frankenstein, it is Udil Ul Musulman, mean. The Razakar leader Qasim Rizvi and mounted a vitriolic tirade against Patel. He said on 14th October, Patel belongs to the class of Hitler. Our government is temporary and temperamentally like Chamberlain. What is there to prevent carrying out negotiations with Pakistan and other Muslim and non-Muslim countries? This is what he said. And Patel started contemplating how to overcome the problem created and how to convince Mount Baton and eventually Nizam to join the Dominion. We'll continue in part three.